Well, a good team's got to finish, and that and you use that word, and that's what mm -hmm. we talk about all the time. And we, we have a theme that the only quarter you can win win a game is the fourth quarter, and it doesn't matter in first, second, or third. The fourth quarter, you got to come out on top. Third quarter action now. Missouri coming out with the football, owning a 16 to three lead, and Coach Pinkle's Tigers right back to work, uh, heading downfield under the leadership of the sophomore quarterback Blaine Gabberts. Again, feeling the pocket back there, throwing on the run, making plays, that is really, uh, that's Jared Perry right there making a nice catch, sideline catch, that's really just uh, really good awareness for, for, for Blaine to be able to do that. And then we, uh, I thought we got our running game going a little bit better in the second half, I thought they did a good job against our run, Illinois did. Uh, that, that, was a, that was a third and two, I right. believe, and uh, you know, Denario's a big guy, and he can run, boy, and you better tackle him or he can gain 25, 30 yards on you, as he did right there. Well, 31 on that play, 29 right here, and what an effort to get this ball so close to the goal line. Well, they had a defensive breakdown there. You know, we lined up, just a great effort uh, on his part to try and get that in. Um, he, uh, he, was, he was uncovered, and, and it was a nice throw by Blaine. Here's a real nice throw by Blaine, sliding over and buying time for uh, Jarrell Jackson to get across. Jarrell was another one of the players that played last year as a freshman, had been in the game environment, and so I, th I think when he got in, it to, both those guys got into a like, camp. Again, it was not that big a deal. Tigers up uh, 23 to three. Illinois trying to come back. The Illini did lose their top receiver, really, has been to a sprained ankle in the first quarter, but they really uh, had a hard time against your defense sustaining any type of yeah. drive, Gary. Well, I think we played good, solid defense. We didn't give up very many big plays. And them losing Ben was a big deal. I mean, I, that, that, guy, that guy's a great player, and uh, hopefully he's going to be okay. Great job. I, I th uh, think that was Rutland that caused that, and uh, Del Howard recovered it. Again, just uh, just that that was a cause fumble by technique of, uh, of tackling through the football. So uh, Mizzou gets the ball back, and this uh, third quarter is rolling along, and the Tigers just continue to, to march along up the field against Illinois. Gabbert here with that empty backfield, zips a pass to the tight end, Andrew Jones. Yeah, and, and Andrew's real good at that. He did it last year a lot as a true freshman. He's another player that played a year ago. Um, just, you know, the thing I liked about Blaine in there, first of all, he's getting good protection. The other thing is you know, his accuracy was thrown. And I think he learned a lot of that by, by being around Chase Daniel uh, all last year. I think that was, you know, it was like getting your doctorate in quarterbacking. And here's just a real executed play. And this does not work without the offensive line. I think Tim Barnes had a great block on this. Mm -hmm. This does not work unless your offensive line have hats on people. And okay. we have hats on people. Tim comes up here and makes a nice block. A bunch of offensive linemen do. And then this guy, he can run. And uh, very fortunate, uh, just a big play. And, uh, you know, it's just it's nice to see our guys execute. And Missouri is up 30-3 to three with under six minutes to play in the third quarter. And while we show all the points offensively, the, the defense obviously doing its job and getting the ball back time yeah, again. Yeah, there's no question. And, you know, you're holding on offense. They were 17th in the nation last year in total offense. And everybody back. Eight uh, starters back. Everybody back and, and for our defense to... And again, it was a bend but don't break. Give up some yards, that's okay, but let's not give up big plays. And for the most part, we did a pretty good job of that. Uh, that was a real nice stop. A uh, good run by Juice. Trying to contain him the best that you can. Uh, comes outside and uh, there's Jasper Simmons, a, a, a young safety, a junior college safety is really doing well. Uh, that was a good call on their part. They go into the fourth quarter. This is a long, long drive on their part. And, and they end up getting the score here. But it, what, what, what was great about this, it took them seven minutes, mm -hmm. seven or eight minutes to almost a half of a quarter to get, to, to get those seven points. And when you had the kind of lead that we had, that really uh, helped us uh, in, in more ways than what you can imagine. Yeah, seven minutes and 20 seconds needed by Illinois to score this touchdown to make it 30 to nine early in the fourth quarter, a 15 play drive for the Illini. Of course, you guys come back uh, and get the football after this touchdown and, and put more points on the board. So you answered into the fourth quarter to really finish this game off. They missed the extra point, 37-9, Gary, and this is a third and 19, and that's a big play to, yeah, to really, play. you know, keep, that's keep them that's a far huge away. The chase was good at that, and uh, Blaine, just a great throw. Under pressure, took a hit, and Jared Perry makes a nice catch, and then, again, we're using his athleticism, and the way he runs, and we can, you know, we, we, we call quarterback draw now. We'll use that more now because of his running ability. Yeah, it uh, looked like you called a lot of runs yeah, for him. Yeah, we, we called a few, and some he created, and and here's Derek Washington, you know how good a runner he is. And, and, he looked, and the great thing about him right there is trying to stay in bounds. <laughs> and he tried, he couldn't, but he tried to stay in, in bounds. And, 
just really nice to, to see uh, you know this this work and it really presents in, in, in the spread offense when you, when you don't have any running backs in, the, in there and we're empty backfield. It's nice if your quarterback can do this because it just it, it, it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Now you can't spread out, worry about everybody outside without worrying about the quarterback coming up the middle. So it'll be a plus for us. And the defense finishes it off. Smith and Smith with sacks for Missouri that here was, on consecutive that Jarque, plays. Yeah, that was Jarquees right there. And here's all Jarquees as a sophomore played a year ago. He's going to be a real high level player. And here's Alden Smith. And Alden Smith's a freshman in Kansas City area. And uh, both those guys are uh, you know, really good young players. And just real proud of our, our football team for you know, when you prepare real, real well like they did, you have an opportunity to play well. This week's Missouri Employers Mutual Player of the Week is the sophomore quarterback, Blaine Gabbard. The sophomore from St. Louis, 25 of 33 passing for 319 yards and three touchdowns. He also ran for a score in Missouri's 28-point win. Missouri Employers Mutual, the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.